Okay. So when you get to Genesis and you get to the part where um, this is very important, okay? When Jacob's, Jacob's name is changed to Israel. What? So Jacob's in the wilderness and he wrestles with God all night. And in the morning, he triumphs over God and his name is changed to Israel. Um, does that mean they're fighting? Like they're fighting each other? Not really, okay? The point is... Um, you don't, it's hard, it's so hard for us to understand what God wants and how he is because he's so different from us because he's so holy, okay? And, um, this is about being changed into something else, okay? You are no longer a part of the world. You are no longer your old self. You are, a, you're no longer Satan's nasty, one of his nasty little things that you just keep worshiping him okay you are born again jesus said if you cannot enter the kingdom of heaven unless you are born again that means you have to be become a, you have to change you have to let go of all your sin and it's hard that's what the wrestling is about it's hard letting it go it's a struggle it's a struggle to wrestle it's a struggle to let go of your sin and to change and read the bible and let go of the world it's a struggle Okay, but if you try, you will win. You will become a different, you'll become a different person. That's what this is about. Okay, you are a different person. You, you are a different creature of God now. You are not, you are not, you, do, you no longer belong to Satan. Okay, you don't belong to him anymore. You're, you're God's now. You're, you belong to him now. And it took a lot of work, didn't it? It took a lot of work. For me to let go of all my sin and all my old ways. I had to become totally different. A totally different person. And everyone has to try to do this too. too. And it's, it's, you don't need all that stuff guys. Get to know God in the Bible. Don't keep, don't keep getting deceived by watching TV and worshipping these, these idols. Okay. Become God's. Become God's child creature okay becomes god's child creature not yourself not demons not satan's don't that god constantly commands you to come out of the world because he knows the world and everyone 99.99 percent of the world is belongs to lucifer okay and it's so hard to like even see straight okay Read the Bible, pray to Jesus, and become a different person. Okay? Become a different creature. Become. I don't even like watching gross movies and music and stuff like that. I don't cuss anymore. I don't want to. <laughs> like, it's not like a, a chore. It's not a chore for me to read the Bible and stuff. I know that's weird, right? You don't get it. That exactly, that's, that's what the struggle is about. Okay, so think about this stuff. Read the Bible and pray and work. Work. It's, it's work. You're not just going to go to heaven just because you read the Bible once. You have to work at it, okay? And God will help you. He will. G G Jesus Christ is what you need, man. It'll make things... It's hard to explain because it's a supernatural experience, but it's a good one, not creepy stuff, okay? All right. Um, please read the Bible and pray. That's all I keep I, I keep asking you guys to do. Please, I'll try to help you explain some of the Bible to keep you reading it, okay? Uh, again, this has many layer of, layers of meaning. It's awesome. Keep reading the Bible, guys. All right. Okay. Um, one more thing. Um, Israelite in the Bible. So when you read the Bible and you keep seeing Israelites, yes, there's a Mo there's the people Moses uh, guided through the desert, right? <laughs> it has so much meaning you guys god's a poet the bible is like poetry too it's a historic history and poetry at the same time okay so um israelites the literally means one who struggles with god okay and that's what the literal translation translation means okay um this stuff is real man this is stuff is what real history his story everything leads to jesus guys really Everything on earth leads to Jesus if you just look at look at it from the real perspective. For look at it from the, for the truth. Don't go look into fake history and stuff like that. Read the Bible and build trust in the Bible. That's where history really is, and where you're gonna go forever and ever and ever if you don't listen to it. Okay. All right. Thanks.